As if Austin Hubbard's $12,000 victory at Golden Isles didn't introduce him to the late model world enough on Saturday night, his victory lane celebration officially drove the nail into the welcome coffin. <laughs> In what can only be described as an official coming out party, 17-year-old Austin Hubbard led all 60 laps and held off Scott Bloomquist during a green-white checker scenario to do it, proving unflappable during the waning moments of the race, even as one of the greatest ever was breathing down his neck. For the final time out of turn number four, Delaware's oh, Austin right Hubbard will take the win! In a season in which he plans to run the World of Outlaw series for car owner Dale Beitler and is expected to be the next big thing in late model racing, Hubbard delivered early in 2010, proving the can't miss label may be dead on. It was just like a volcano of feelings. Is that is that a good, is that now or? I pretty much felt like I was just like walking on a mountain and just climbing higher, you know what I mean? Just... The Seaford Delaware youngster jumped out from his pole starting position and proved early he was no joke, at times gaining a half-track advantage on the field while everyone else was left twisting in the wind. It appeared as the laps clicked off, Hubbard may never be challenged, but the first of two late cautions appeared for John Henderson on lap 41. Henderson again slowed with two laps to go, creating a green-white checkered and a nervous 17-year-old with Scott Bloomquist on his rear deck. I didn't feel the nose the one time, I think it was at a two. I just kind of blocked it out. Uh, I saw the board, and I saw, I mean, I, I was really more worried about Josh at that one point because I was like, Josh is in third? He, like, started, like, dead last, but I, I guess once you get to the front, it's a little harder, you know? So I just tried to block it all out and concentrate on hitting my marks, like you said. You get tired, honestly. Like, this is a high-speed track. You get a lot of G-forces and stuff. That caution... Even though, you know, I, it hurt my lead, I was like, oh, I get a break, I can re recuperate. Everybody seemed to fire better tonight, you know, and uh, we got better the longer we ran up to a point. And I, I did make a few adjustments on my race car. Uh, it caused me to be a little bit tight under throttle which made me not be able to run the top quite as much as I like to. Uh, I really wanted to try to work the top in one and two, and I, I ended up giving it a go the last lap. And, and there was something up there, but I really needed a longer caution to cool my tires. To be able to run that high line and that momentum line, you know, when your tires are already hot and about giving up, it, it's nearly impossible. So. You know, I think if we'd had a longer caution, we had a shot at it. Hubbard, despite slipping up once in the final two laps, would not be overtaken as he held off the Hall of Famer for his biggest career victory. I just wanted to show how excited I was, and I'm pretty sure I got my point across. Uh, I mean, I, I'm not going to get on, get out of the car and give you a sideways thumbs up. I mean, we just won $12,000. That's more than I probably win in three months, <laughs> usually, so... Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I may not see much. Dad, he won a lot of money tonight, but I'm, I'm excited. I just, we worked really hard, and Hog has put a lot of time into me, a lot of time into, <laughs> into this, and it's starting to pay off. And I'm just as glad as I am for him as it is for me as for Dad, because, you know, my dad's been doing this for 12 years. Imagine dragging a five-year-old kid around the country. That would be terrible. And he did that. And it's just, I can't thank him enough. Everything's just going right right now, and it, it, it feels nice. He's ran good all week. He did keep his composure. He did make a few mistakes, and you know, there, he had, his tires were hot enough that, that he could afford to, and, and mine had already gotten hot enough that I couldn't take advantage of it. And they weren't a big enough mistake that, uh, it, for me to really take advantage of. So, you know, yeah, I, I congratulate him. He did a, did a heck of a job. And, and there, there's, there's a lot of young talent in the world, you know. And, uh, again, congratulations to him. A postscript to Hubbard's win, it should be pointed out that those who consider themselves dirt late model insiders have been predicting a breakout for Austin Hubbard in 2010. But it's one thing to believe it. It's another to actually see the driver go out there and get a victory. And, of course, as he begins his season with Dale Beitler next week at East Bay, the pressure will be on even more heavily after this win. But for the time being, he knows at least for one night, 
he can compete with the absolute best. We've won uh, a quite quite a few things. We won go kart, national championships, and stuff. But this is what I've always wanted to do right here. Just to go out there and and not the just just to beat the people that we beat tonight. 12 hours a day. You know what I mean? For the last three months, getting this stuff ready, pouring my heart into this deal. It's all worth it. All of it. From the final night of the Super Bowl of Dirt in Brunswick, Georgia, this is Michael Rigsby with DirtOnDirt.com.